Hey guys, I'm just trying to pile up aluminum shavings. You know, them shavings. And this motor, no top on it. Yeah. Finishing up the racing mower. So I took this motor, the original one that was on that, that I blew it up, but didn't hurt the shell at all. I took all the stuff out, cut that hole in the top. And what I've been doing, taking this little die grinder and just smoothing the whole thing out. So, when this is on, and I have the starter, bolted up the, I have some sort of exhaust, or probably no like muffler or something like that. And then I'll have this, it's going to be wild on the inside. So from the sides it looks like a real motor. You take out some little nuts that have like a flat head so you can take them off by hand. Pull this off. You have a whole bunch of storage. Then I have to go do an out wash this stuff off. Then I'll start having a mount all this stuff on. And I'll uh, see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's done. Well, probably. 99.99% done. Probably needs a little bit of touches everywhere, but so you got a good bit of storage, plus actually a little more because the shout sits up. And right down there, love to fit a can of soda. So I might actually put a little screw and a little lock so I can put a soda in there without it knocking everywhere. So it's as easy as. I would like it to be a little easier. I will figure out a different way, but so I thought it'd be the fastest to take on and off, but still have it sturdy. Think about you have like a little piece of shaft with like a little ball, so that I can draw that out and just pull it right out. But these you can take them off without tools. You just well, kind of have to line up the hole. You just. Screw them all in place, and then it's all secured. But this is held on by hot glue. I tried welding it, I tried epoxy, all that just fell off, and hot glue, I just thought that would work. So, what I did use, the, the, I don't remember where I last slide off. I might have showed you how rough it was. Oh, right now I didn't. But, I just use this. Smoothed out the edges, because it was rough as all hell. Now, if you realize it's actually nice and smooth. Now, that on, if you're looking from the side, I would think that's pretty believable. I did have to add this. This ain't stock, obviously. See the gap, but without it, it just didn't make it. You can see that. And I need something for the dipstick. I'll probably make a support bracket down here. Like screwed into the block so this ain't flopping everywhere. So you have that the starter line. So you don't need to run a kill wire. And right here, you run a wire back, you have this piece. And then your spark plug boot. That's about it. That will be complete and look looking cool. So yeah guys, uh, see you guys in the next video. Which will probably be I'll finish latching up the seat and stuff. And then when I'm done with my quad and the snowblower tractor, I will have to uh, work on this and get the motor, fix it all up, gonna soup it up with some different jets and 15 or 18, 18 pound valve springs, I forget. I'm doing some of the mods that, uh, if you look. Junkstar Builds, he put out a uh, video of modding a uh, motor. One thing I'm not doing is removing the governor. So I just put that tie wrap there. It works. And that's how my throttle set up. It gets full throttle. So, hey guys. So, um, see you guys later. Baby, a song you make me want to roll my windows down and cruise.